Well, let me tell you something, brother. I got the drip, go. I got the tips, go. Damn, I got the drip, go. I got the tips, go. Clear your throat. Please hit me. Damn. Clear your throat. Blow your nose. Damn. Damn. Snort. 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 Go. Drip. Snort. Snort. I got the drip. Now, last night, we played Pokemon Scarlet as a night stream for the first time ever. Okay? And what I wanted to do was kind of report my findings because everyone was wondering, gee, you played Pokemon Scarlet as a daytime stream four times and every time you did it went well. You know, attendance was pretty good. Engagement was sky high. Support was sky high. People seem to be loving the Scarlet playthrough despite all the shortcomings of the game running like shit on the Switch. So what happened when you moved it from a daytime to a nighttime stream? Well, attendance was lower. Engagement was lower. We didn't even hit the 100 likes goal, which I was shocked. I thought we would hit it. We didn't even hit 100 likes. Support, you know, was not bad. I'm not going to sit here and complain. It was pretty good for a night stream. We didn't hit the hat goal, so we, it was the first time actually playing the game we didn't have a, the Pikachu hat in effect. But we had a couple people named Pokemon. We had other people supporting regardless. People had a good time. We had good progress in the game, even though it was only two hours. We actually cleared a gym. We fought a Titan Pokemon. So it wasn't like, oh, because now you've reduced the, the length of your Pokemon streams, you did way less in the game. It was actually, no, it was on par with what would have happened in like a, a, a main Pokemon stream. Um, so it went pretty well. You know, did it do as well as the daytime session? No. But did it fail miserably and tank and, and become a disaster stream? Of course not. It was actually quite good. So I'm feeling confident with Pokemon being a night stream. What I will say is this to those of you <clears throat> who sadly maybe can no longer attend the Pokemon Scarlet streams because they're now nighttime streams, I have two things to say. The first thing is, of course, remember, you can always watch those videos on demand here on DSP Gaming. They're always added right after the fact when the stream goes uh, offline, I upload. And also remember that you can still participate. If you are watching on demand, you're like, oh, man, there's a cool Pokemon. I'd like to name him something and have him be played in the next session. You can do that. You can still tip me. You don't have to tip me during a Pokemon stream. You can still do that $25 tip. And it's first come, first serve. Just tell me your name, the, the Pokemon you want to name, and the name you want to name it. And, you know, as long as that Pokemon's available, we'll name that Pokemon next thing, next stream, and get it right in the party, and we'll play with it for a little bit, okay? So don't feel left out just because you can't be there on the live streams. But in addition, I'm hearing the Callisto Protocol. If you're, like, an amazing expert, you can speedrun the game and beat it in six hours. Spoiler alert. I'm not going to beat the Callisto Protocol in six hours. I've heard that, on average, it will probably take a person around 12 hours to beat it. All right, but I'm an interactive streamer. And as you guys know, today I'll be talking with you guys. I'll probably be dying a lot. I'm going to guesstimate it will take me around 15 hours to beat the Callisto Protocol. So if you do the math, if I play it all day today, that's about five hours. So about a third of the game already done. If I play it again on Sunday, that's another three. That's eight hours. If I play it again on Tuesday, that's, you know, what are we up to? 11 hours. So we're nearly done. <clears throat> that would mean next week, maybe one to two more streams and it's done. Which means, before the new releases come out, you might say, well, what are the next new releases you're playing? The next new releases I'm playing are coming out on December 13th. It is the Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core Reunion game. And then there's also High on Life. Okay, those are the two next ones that I've decided to play. So, if the game is the link that people are reporting, I might beat it, you know, on the earlier side next week. And if that's the case... Then maybe what we'll do is we'll flip the streams and we'll actually have Pokemon as a daytime stream for a little bit. And if we even have a couple extra night streams, maybe we'll just do something random in there, right? Or maybe we could start up one of these games that I've completely skipped, but that people are interested in seeing me actually play. We'll see. We'll think about it. You know, we have things to talk about. Everyone's also been screaming at me for Warzone. Maybe we could get Warzone in the mix. You know, there's things to do. So if you're a fan of Pokemon, you're so sad you're missing out on the streams right now. It might return to a daytime stream, at least temporarily, within about a week and a half, depending on how long it takes to get through Callisto Protocol, okay? So, I'm pleased with how things are going with Pokemon, and last night was actually a pretty good stream, okay? All right. I got the drip, go. 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 It's like a faucet that's dripping. Can't make it stop. So what do you want me to do? Have a have a mute button that every second I'm tapping the mute button just in case I, I'm gonna have to clear. Like this is what I mean. These, these dumb kids. This is what it is. It's dumb kids.
Thank you.